So the new Lance trailer just dropped and it looks really good. I'm very excited. The Lance looks good, the armor looks good, but most importantly, the animations look divine. They've really made the Lance feel a lot more powerful and strong with all the uppercuts and hefty stabs that it now does. The animations are all really dynamic and it just looks good to watch. It's really night and day comparing it to older trailers of for previous games because the Lance in Wilds just, it looks powerful. Lance has been one of the later weapon trailer videos and so we've had a, about two weeks now of sort of mild worrying online about how the Lance is going to have a really boring video when it finally got its turn and it was sort of justifiable because of how Rise and Sunbreak's weapon intros for Lance were not particularly good but I am very very happy to say that that is not the case. We're eating good tonight. Right, let's just dive straight into it. I'm gonna slowly work through the trailer and I'll pause or highlight all the bits that I think are really, really interesting. Other than it feeling more dynamic, people that don't play Lance a lot may not realize how much has changed for Lance here and how many new things it's got. And it's all really exciting. So immediately, the first thing we see is a new power guard, cancel, counter cancel, uppercut, counter thrust that looks really crazy you get a lot of height the, the character ends up jumping in the air um it might be a little bit less vertical in its range now but it looks very strong and it might end up being a pretty good anti-flying monster attack with all the added height that it's now got then we've got the splash screen and as the splash screen fades away the first thing we see is the Lance, the character, blocking, and there's a very faint blue light around the shield. We'll see it later on again, but I'm pretty sure this is implying a form of insta-block. Obviously, there's no guarantees, but I'm really, really hoping that that, that is insta-block and that it won't require us to use the guard skill to counter monster attacks. After that, they start showing off the standard triple poke combo, but the big change this time around is that you're able to strafe while attacking of sorts. We don't know how it's gonna work, but it looks like we're able to move horizontally forwards and backwards while thrusting. Obviously, we've not got the game yet, so I might be jumping the gun here, but I think being able to walk backwards while attacking forwards is an incredibly powerful thing to do. You can evade monsters while continuing to triple poke and just attack. And the fact that you're able to produce a forward damage area while walking backwards to evade the damage that a monster will do is really, really powerful. I, if I were to hazard a guess, I think it's going to be one of the most useful things that we have in the Lance's kit now. I am very, very excited for the ability to walk backwards. We've also been given access to a new fourth attack. The angle in the video isn't perfect, so I'm not entirely sure if the attack is two hits with the shield and then a thrust, or if it's two little thrusts and then a stronger thrust. If I were to lean one way or the other, I would say it's the shield that is doing two little attacks before the thrust, because it looks like the elemental effect is coming from the shield. Either way, this looks like a good combo finisher move, something that you might not be using as part of your bread and butter combos while fighting, but would continue to finish through if you have enough time to use the attack. The camera fades to black and then we get a new scene where we get to see Instablock or what I think is Instablock in full. What I'm assuming is happening here is if you time your guard correctly, instead of guarding the attack, you will counter it and you'll be able to respond to the monster's attack with a sort of shield parry that'll do damage to the monster. The whole animation is very, very fast, so it's quite difficult to see what's going on but that speed does imply it's some sort of insta-block. 
And so I'm really hoping that it's going to be a way for us not to get taxed with guard on armor sets. On a further speculation note, we might see alternative follow-ups to the attack. It might not just be shield slap. We might be able to leaping thrust or even cross slash. Um, but I think that if we were able to cross slash, we'd probably have seen it in this trailer. So I think that's quite unlikely. Then we get to see power guard again. This time we get a new response. After guarding an attack, the player does what looks like a very strong mid thrust, which is then able to be comboed into a very fast charge attack. The charge attack itself seems very fast compared to other charge attacks that we've had. And it also looks like it reached its faster speed very, very quickly. I'm speculating again here, but I reckon doing this combo to reach the Lance Charge is going to make the time it takes to reach your maximum speed a lot shorter than if you were to charge normally. That's what I think is going on. Oops, I've, uh, I've done it in the wrong order, but we've also had a alternative response from or counter thrust of sorts from the power guard position shown off it's another angle of this new like juicy uppercut strike moving on to focus mode we don't really know how it properly works yet so i don't know if we'll be able to use it constantly and it'll unlock a whole new slew of like attack options or if it's more like a super move type thing that happens only when targeting the red spots on a monster but our version seems like an uppercut with the shield that then combos into a shield charge from gu and rise and then that finishes with a leaping thrust attack if you listen closely that final hit is definitely three hits and i think this is actually a good summary of how Lance feels in the trailer. We're getting a ton of like extra fast small hits that don't necessarily pack a punch on their own, but add up to a devastating flurry of extra attacks. And that sounds really cool. And then the animations for Lance's big hitting attacks have been changed to look even bigger and even more juicy on their own. Next up, I'm not fully sure what's going on here. It looks like your standard counter thrust being charged, but at one point the hunter's shield moves forward and you see that little flash of blue that indicates the, or what I assume indicates the insta block timing. So we might be able to do a charge or a charge thrust and then have an insta block to like protect, protect ourselves mid charge. It's possible that this is actually a replacement for charged wide sweep. We don't know, and there's a few places where this could fit into Lance's move set. Unfortunately, the monster also flinched during this attack. It looks like we're gonna get two hits from it. One as a re repost from the insta block, and then another that is the actual charge thrust. And if that's the case, then it may be that insta block is a lot more Freeform, it might be that insta block only ever results with a small shield parry, but it allows us to combo or finish what it, what we're doing previously to it that would open up a lot of new options for the kit. And then as the video rounds off, it's nice to see that we still have access to jumping mid charge that allows us to mount monsters very easily and from whenever we want or from wherever and whenever we want, we don't need a ledge. And I also assume that the last part is one of those quasi-scripted moments where you block a monster attack in a very cinematic way during focus mode. The devs have talked a little bit about it previously in regards to the greatsword, I think in the focus mode video, um, but we don't really know what or how it's gonna work. So what's next? Obviously there are still a lot of questions here that will be hopefully revealed later on. We don't really know what focus mode is doing. Is it gonna give us access to a whole slew of different options, allowing us to shield charge all the time perhaps? Or is it gonna be more of a cinematic scripted kind of attack? We also don't know what's happening with the rest of Lance's kit that didn't get shown off here. 
We didn't see guard dash, so whether that aspect of the lance is being replaced by being able to move while thrusting, or if it's been replaced by shield tackle or some completely new move that we'll have to wait and see for, we simply don't know. Until we get more footage of the weapon, uh, we're just going to have questions left to answer. Hopefully, however, that will be soon, as it's not long until we get the demos available at the... Uh, I can't remember which convention it is, but the convention coming up, there's a new trailer in the coming weeks where we'll get more information and that'll be really exciting. Other than that, please tell me what I've missed in the comments. I'd love to hear what other people are thinking about this video. I think it's really exciting. What do you think? If you enjoyed the video, please like it. it really helps me out and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.